Hi, this is Gene from iPixSmartphone.com. Today I got this iPhone 7 Plus that we are going to change the uh, storage. Meaning the uh, this phone actually has a 32 gigabyte only, and the uh, user of this phone is constantly having an issue with uh, low storage warning messages. So rather than just upgrading to a new phone, uh, we like to really decide to get the uh, new NAND to upgrade the storage. As you can see, this one only has a 32 gigabyte, but then we are able to find the 512 gigabyte NAND to fit this phone. And we're going to show you what I did to install and make it work. Before you're doing the uh, whole process, you have to preserve the uh, value of the phone, meaning e you need to save the uh, serial number, Wi-Fi address, and Bluetooth address to transplant or write that over to the new NAND, otherwise phone will, phone will not activate. <coughs> so in order to do that, what we do is uh, we have this iRepair box, uh, commonly called IDFU box. We use that tool to read the value of the phone. So this device will put the phone in so-called purple mode and with the uh, its application we are able to write the I mean read the uh, system configuration of the phone and we can save it to our uh, computer to wherever you want in order to bring back later once you complete the, your uh, complete your task so we are saving the uh, data and we'll use that later. And I got the uh, large port out of the phone and it's on the bottom here because uh, this will enable us to use a uh, relatively lower heat than the normal heat to remove the uh, NAND or whatever the IC chips uh, so it puts a, puts a less uh, strain to the phone or you don't you know it has less risk of overheating it and it makes it easy for us to remove the underfill around the NAND as well So we got the uh, underfill removed around the NAND. So it looks like all the capacitor and registers are still there intact. So it um, looks like it's good to go. Okay, now the uh, NAND has been removed from the large board and it looks like the, all the pads and uh, everything else, yep, else like uh, registers or capacitors are still intact. So it uh, looks like it was a clean pull. Now we got this uh, 512 gigabyte NAND out, so this is like kind of new uh, to it. You know, don't mind the uh, writing; you're gonna have to clean that up later. So we will have to b-ball this NAND to get the uh, get it onto the large board. Okay, remote is done. Looks like we got a pretty good uh, solder board on the NAND. Time to put this onto the large board. So we got the large board onto the bottom heater again because we just don't want to put too much heat onto the uh, large board. So this will enable enable us to get the NAND soldered onto the motherboard with a relatively low heat, heat 
than uh, the usual. Uh, you can probably use it around 350, 380, around there, depending how close you get your nozzle to it. Okay, the NAND is on there, so we're gonna let it cool down. Okay, so got the logic board installed back to the enclosure, and as soon as you replace the NAND, you'll notice the phone is in DFU mode once you power it on. So, uh, in order to get this thing going, you have to restore the phone, the, uh, whatever the form error form that is uh, <coughs> allowed. So, I'm gonna go ahead and restore the phone. And once the phone is restored, you want to activate because the value is not there. So we're gonna use this uh, DFU box again to write the bring back the value of the system config and then write that on there to the new board. So it's writing. Everything's done. Usually I just check the uh, unlock Wi-Fi as well to make it easier for the future, to kind of make it future proof. So uh, once you exit, the phone is going to reboot. I have to put that in there because after the uh, route, writing the uh, <coughs> NAND information, and if you don't restore it again, phone will, phone will not activate. As you can see here, it says unable to activate because I don't know what it is, but you just have to restore it one more time after writing it. So after the restoration, as you can see the phone has now been successfully activated. And I fast forward it, and as you can see, the phone now has 512 gigabyte storage. So if you have any questions, uh, drop us an email through our website or visit us at ifixsmartphone.com or email at info at ifixsmartphone.com. Thanks for watching.